Hi, in this video, I will show you how to filter Dataverse lookup column by text. So this is my table called sport and my column name is called type. I have got three values here. So how to filter by one of the names here like rugby or badminton or cricket. Okay. Let's start building the flow then. So here I'm going to use the manual trigger. And next, I'm going to use the Dataverse connector. Select the table name. So I can't set the filter row here for filtering the text for the choice column. So the technique we need to use here is we need to get the list rows. And the next action so the next action we need to use the filter array. So before we do that I'm going to run the list rows. So I'm going to call this demo lookup column by text filter okay let's run the flow now okay flow ran successfully and let's inspect the output so in the output you need to search for your field name so my field name is called here it is so you can see here I got values here set it as rugby see that and the numeric value is called that behind the scene so what I need to do here is I need to copy this line display dot v1 dot formatted value copy that and close this go back to edit and use the filter array so under the filter array I need to select the values coming from the previous step and here the technique is click the expression type item two brackets question mark two square brackets single quotes so within the within the two single quotes paste the value which I copied earlier and click OK that. Now I'm going to say here rugby. Yeah. Let's run this again and see what we are going to get. Okay. Flow ran and I can see here I have got one record for the rugby. So let's go back to my record here you can see I have got one record here I'm going to add another one and uh, just call badminton and then select the type as badminton here and save that record Okay, I'm going to create another one more record called Rugby. And select the type as Rugby here. Save and close. I got, so now I have got two records. Um, two records for the Rugby, one for Badminton. Okay, let's go back to Power Automate. Edit this. Click on the new step. And um, add and apply to each loop. Oh, just click the control. Okay, apply to each. Output from the filter array that is the body. And here I can add a compose here. 
and under the combos I could say uh, each item okay let's run this and see what we are going to get okay flow ran successfully so you can see two records that is I have got two rugby uh, you know types so you can see here it filters nicely with those records so this is the technique you apply for using the filter using the text value again what I could do here is I'm going to change my filter array to badminton so it should only have one record then okay let's test that okay let's see here it is so we are, I only got one record here and you can see in the compose uh, you know I got one badminton record okay so to get exactly uh, you know that item property if you want you can again copy this copy that edit and instead of putting the full item I can specify one of the properties so I can go back and say item question mark square brackets two single quotes paste that expression there click OK that and test it again here it is see that so we filtered the record you know using the choice text and also if you want to get the ID of the record then you can say either you can add a, another compose I'm going to just show it in here only that what you could do is I put a hyphen and another expression again item question mark two square brackets then two single quotes put the schema name you are after so that is sport ID I believe um, let's see from my previous run or I can look from here as a peak code ah it's a sports sports ID it is yeah let's go back and change that to sports ID update yep okay now run the flow and see that's going to work or not oh that didn't so let me go back and check what's what I did wrong there so let's see the ah it's it's called sport ID only sorry it's my bad so let me go and correct that I'm going to change that to sport ID yeah. that's identifier of that record the GUID right run it again okay floor run and I can see now the GUID also as well so this is a technique you use for filtering the choice text so remember the technique we use here is the filter array then specifying the item with the scheme name and also the other syntax you need at odata.community.display.v1.formatted value okay then is equal to the text you are after you can't put this filter directly under the filter rows uh, the flow will fail actually um, I can quickly show you that so if I put this under the filter rows here like that and say equals uh, badminton and save the flow flow and uh, flow um, saved successfully I'm going to test this see the it's failed now it's the syntax error so um, it doesn't work that way so the only way you can work this is you can't put the filter here you need to use the filter array for the text for the choice field okay hope this video is useful thank you for watching